lads, welcome to uh, England, where I, I will be achieving what I set out to do in the title, and I will be forming the Angevin Empire. I'll be doing that through uh, this mission tree, which looks slightly different because this is the missions expanded mod, which changes missions, adds, adds missions, it's glorious, it's wonderful, go check it out, it'll be in the description. So it doesn't change any of the base mechanics, it just adds a lot of flavorful missions that do a lot of different things in a lot of different conditions, it's just a lot, it's just good, it's just good. So as with every uh, English start, we uh, need to go and fight the French. I will be trying to secure that personal union right off the bat. French haven't actually rivaled us, <laughs> that's kind of useful. Now I am going to be pursuing the strategy of uh, allying everyone, the French have a tendency to ally. Fortunately they've rivaled the Iberians, so i to go ahead and ally Savoy. I could ally the uh, Aragonese. It's a shame there's not a single thing to do with military stuff beyond this. I'm going to have to take it. So you and French land, so calling you in could potentially happen. So I'm going to ally the Aragonese. I'm a bit out of practice when it comes to this, to be honest. All right. Do royal marriage the Portuguese. Why not? We're going to try and get ourselves an heir. To be fair, I could just introduce a new heir. I'm going to do that. Henry de la Pole, 625. Oh my god. What an absolute legend. Right. We are going to do the bold thing and get rid of our forts on the mainland. Now we wait for the inevitable. Ideally, I'd love a siege general. Ugh. We need uh, an actual combat general as well. Uh, Advisor, there we go. We'll take more of armies. How are you domineering? I've never seen that before in my life. How are you domineering? I'm bigger than you in every way. P Portugal? <laughs> Good. I'm friendly towards the French. Okay, you know something's wrong when that happens. All right, we are outnumbered uh, almost two to one. We're gonna need this manpower to support these troops. Probably immediately get the Grand Company when the war breaks out. Domineering. <laughs> I've never seen that before ever. There we go. Now we must grab ourselves indebted to the burgers. We're also gonna get the Grand Company off the bat. Okay, so now we're war with the French. Uh, never an enviable position, well, for the most part, but today it is because we will hopefully win. <laughs> I want my mercenaries going in there and everyone else. We're going to be slow and methodical about this. We're going to chuck the defensiveness edict on our ports here and here. Also this one as well, why not? Uh, let's grab this before I forget. We can get safety of the Isles. For five years minus three unrest, that might come in handy. We've reclaimed mine. So that just gives us 1,400. Nice. <laughs> so I just need to occupy Anjou, and it gives me army tradition. Is it occupy? Yeah, it's control. Local defensive. Okay, sweet. So we can get all that done in this war, hopefully. The issue is that fort is going to fall. Okay, well, let's, let's take Anjou. We're going to need to anyway. We're in for a bit of a slog here. I know I keep on changing my mind, but that's 13k, we, 15k we might be able to grab if we're quick enough. Ooh! Siege ability plus 10%. Yes, please. What's this? War of the Roses. Why? Less legitimacy than 90. All right, let's go straight in with John Talbot. I don't know what the combat width is. But that is a nice little stack wipe there. Okay. Can we bomb it down there? No way we'll make that. Okay. Uh, let us take our siege guy. Chuck him on Paris. But that stack wipe's giving me a lot of confidence here. I don't need a loan. Breach walls. This is actually going surprisingly well. Another breach walls. I don't know what. The sieges are going really well for me today, boys. I can't. Maybe the game's finally heard me. My, my years of complaining about sieges in this game. <laughs> What's this? Another thing here? Yeah? We've taken Chat, 10 armor tradition, lovely. We're gonna take Paris and that'll give us looting speed. Okay, this is actually really cool. So the more you control, the more stuff you get. Path to victory. So if you do all of this and you have more than 40% war score, your morale of armies plus 10%, and then you enforce the union, and then you get the second treaty of Tour, which is how we form the Angevin Empire. There's Paris. Also, all of these have custom flavor text, which is awesome. Our recapture of the city should be a great blow to them. Exactly. Recapture. Not capture, recapture. Okay, we are going to be hemorrhaging money, but it's worth it just to make sure that we win this war. Yeah, we're going to be getting the War of the Roses, unfortunately, but we'll deal with that later. Oh, they're massive for an attack. Let's bring our boys over here then. Ah, War of the Roses, there we go. So William or... They're both decent. And we still get our 625 as an heir. It's going to be a close fight. Okay, I was not ready for that. I don't know if you saw the look on my face there. It was not a happy look. Please win that immediately. There we go, okay. Not having uh, a fort, probably... Not my best move right now. Fundamental misunderstanding of what's going on. Yeah, okay, those troops are gonna die, it looks like. Gotta stop the stack wipe, because I can't afford it. Okay, and pull out to terrain. Now, we muster for the final little attack. We are heavily outnumbered here. Manpower, please. God, God, I need that. Okay, let's get rid of you. Nip in, get the easy wins. See, maybe he's better. 3-3, three, three, not really. That's good. Stamp him out. Don't join, don't join. Keep losing the... Okay, he's probably going to get in charge. But to be fair, 4-4-4 four, four, four in charge is not the worst possible thing in the world. You know what? We need the extra morale. So I'm going to risk it by occupying or trying to occupy all this land. I hope he doesn't move on me. Okay, nice. Right, and that gives us Path of Victory, which gives morale of armies plus 10%. I think we might be able to get the Union now. Woo! Okay, right, there we go. I get the Union. I need to turn and kill this uh, army. So. There we go. So now we get second treaty of tour. At last we're victorious. The war that lasted 100 years is finally over. Alas, many 
have lost their lives, both civilians and soldiers. Villages were burned, cities were sacked, lands of France devastated. But now the war is finally over. Order has been restored to the French lands, a new order. The French kingdom lies at our mercy. It is time for the second Treaty of Tours. So we must focus on the continental affair, or this kingdom will make a fine to my collection. We are going to focus on continental affairs now. We want to change our national focus. Do we want to change it? No, I think we don't need that change. And we got, we were given a bunch of territory, which is obviously very useful. Start improving relations with France. So as you can see, we get a new mission tree here. Decision to form the Angevin Empire is unlocked, which is what we want. Firstly, let's focus before we do anything else on not letting that happen. Yeah, a lot of people are entering into a military coalition against us. That's not good. And also we're losing a lot of money per month. That's also not good. Allying Hungary, probably a good idea. Papal states excommunicated me. Screw it, we're gonna declare statute and restraint of, well, does that? Upset France? It does. Okay, we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna buy down my war exhaustion a little bit. Because I need it. Yeah, class Castillo. Cheers, mate. Alright, order has been restored. Excellent. Now, can we stop messing about, boys? Yep. Okay, no unrest. Good. Because uh, we need to get rid of the Grand Company. And we also need to get rid of you. And I have no manpower left. And quite frankly, I'm, I'm <laughs> in, a, in poor shape. Either I have reconciliation, which gives me stability. Or I make everyone around me upset for five years. I'm going to do that in favor of 625. It's a 625. You don't mess around with that. Sometimes the game, like, I was off looking at my schedule for the week. Thinking, I'm just got to calm down a little bit. Then this happened. And, yeah. 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 God damn, Castillo has the same amount of ships as I do. We might not have naval superiority here. I don't have the map up. This is... I should just let it... I should just let it go. I don't know why I contested it. I don't know what the Genoese are doing. I gotta make sure I leave my cogs behind us. I always make that mistake. I always send my cogs into battle. All right, we killed three of his characters. We took one for ourselves. That's pretty good. All right, and this is what we've been waiting for. Naval support loyalists. Not too sure why the French aren't engaging here. I mean, I'd enjoy it if they did. <laughs> not sure that's such a good idea for you. All right, we are kind of trapped around here. Which is that... Uh, we could probably get our cogs to beat his cogs. Send our ships around to help with the blockade. All right, the Genoese are out. These five years separatism i don't think we need to do that there's no separatism in these lands honestly we can't afford the manpower recovery right now right, there's a couple of cogs done i'm very hesitant to head into the med though also hesitant by the sheer amount of troops that are nearby look could you do me a favor france is gonna hate me whatever i don't care can you can you like help me look france just come here look france ignore this province just come next to me please he's, he's actually doing it oh my god yes oh we won valencia nice all right is that enough <laughs> jesus <the> coalition <laughs> all right Seems with the French help, we've broken the Iberian resistance for the most part. Oh, no, they're back. <laughs> English recovery. Lovely. We need that manpower recovery speed desperately. We need to conquer Brittany. Like, unless it just gives me everything I've ever needed. I can't do that. Oh, do you want on 7%? Nice one, France. You might be wondering to yourself. Okay, he's got the union. What's he waiting out for? I'm waiting out for my aggressive expansion to go down and enough war scores such to compel some of my loans because I am hurting. I've not been out of war for more than about 15 seconds. This entire game. There's the union. There's the cash. We're not getting more than that. Yeah. Okay. Get the next mill tech. That's useful. Is that only other ally as well? Okay. Excellent. Hooray! We won. <laughs> See what we can do about survival now. I might have just made a huge, huge mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coalition, coalition. We're no longer excommunicated, but that's because France. It what? Okay. No. Wait. That's that's we're the same person. Okay. Uh, Ottomans, buddy. Minus sixty-four. That's <laughs> a coalition and a half. Uh, anyone? Ally? Lithuania? Why are you not Poland, Lithuania? Who cares? I'll take it. Any more for any more. Bohemia might be a good idea. Let's just get the numbers up. Because to be fair, that is a decent chunk of, of Europe there. If I could have gotten... I mean, the Austrians hate me, right? Is there anything here about playing tool? Favor of the French? That's kind of a playing tool one. Nice. Uh, aid France? Yeah, these are all just chilling. English, French countries start blending. Blech. Sorry. I I need a moment. English and French cultures will start blending. I'll do it because it's in the game, but that's too far. Friendship. Ooh. All right, we sold some titles after that war, and we have money. No more loans. It's good to see. And Castile's mildly getting used to the idea of uh, us being in charge. Port Lois costs 4.4, but both of our guys are, le are legal. <laughs> they are legal, <laughs> which is the most important thing, but now they're loyal. It was always legal. <laughs> it's like a weird mix between Henry, which is French, Della, which is like Iberian, and Pole, which is, well, Polish. So he's, he's a real multicultural lad. Co-belligerent everyone. I think that's a terrible idea. But to be fair, how many more people could join a coalition? <laughs> Should we find out? Should I just conquer the British Isles all in one go? I didn't want this to become a ridiculously expansionist game. But when life gives you Castile in a personal union, you take it, right? Ah, screw it. Let's do it. We're taking on the world, boys. It's 26,000 with a three-star general. This might have been a horrible mistake. Drop some troops on Ice Shire. Because if I can blockade the straight... And I'm safe. And I can head over my own top. All right, the 625's in charge. And he had a 524 air. Nice. Come on, like me just a little bit more. And people are leaving the coalition against me. Okay, interesting. 
Fair of the French. Technology cost. Nice French civilization. We're good. We're good. Lathe. Calm. All provinces of France are at zero devastation. What are you at? Gonna lose 10 liberty desire. That's very useful indeed because it means I don't have to pay for loyalists anymore. Evolution of the English culture. That is a bright text. My god. English and French culture remains remain unchanged. Alongside our union of our monarch, English and holding so little intermingling, resulting in completely divided province. Okay. So that's just like an update. Okay. Use the patronized French subjects at least five times. Ah, oh, nice. An extra 10% morale. Oh, excellent. Gaining stability. See, the game's being nice now. And the Castilians are landing troops. Legends. Legends of the game. See that? France. See how they're helping out? France. Now, for focusing on continental matters, quantity ideas always a good shout, especially with a nation such as this with powerful, powerful. Where are you going? That is bold. I'm gonna have to come with you. Well, it's not too late. You can probably still crush us with overwhelming numbers. But well, for the most part, it's too late. Now, admittedly, it is a waste of manpower to be doing it like this. And true the fact that Sligo is the only one not to get involved with. He's like, I don't, I don't think this is a good idea, guys. Like, no, we got this. We can take out the English. He's like, I don't think so. They are not reinforcing that. Okay, cool. I'll use Castilian manpower. Ah, oh, like an idiot. I didn't take influence. Well, to be fair, I've got to wait 50 years, so I'll probably get influence second. And look at them fight amongst themselves. Yep, deal with my rebels for me, please. Okay, right. I was hiding in mana, wasn't I, in, that, in the actual province? Yeah, screw the over extension. This is great. I'm just going to get them to fight the rebels for me. I don't, I, I think I've fought them properly yet. Now, Scotland will probably present a, a bit of an issue when it comes to aggressive expansion. Other than that, yeah, people are starting to to wise up to the idea. But to be fair, they're already in a coalition, so I'm not going to get another shot at, at this. That's useful. <laughs> I complain about something and I get an event to fix it. The game's been so nice to me today. All right, the Castilians win their siege first. Watch this. They're just killing themselves. <laughs> this is going to be the most entertaining thing you'll see in, uh, in EU4. It's an enemy army. Just It's on 30k, right? Just watch it trick down. Look, they're about to win a siege, right? I think you'll find they're not. Oh, they did. No, wait, Clarence card separatists. Yeah, one second. I've got another one to do as well. It's just an army tearing itself apart. Smart move by Sligo there to join the coalition. Really, I mean, you surrendered a bit too late there, Chief. And yeah, I think that'll be... That'll be I don't really want to like overdo it. I mean, obviously, this could be a coalition, but like... When is there not? Ah. I think people were starting to leave as well. And then I just sort of supercharged it by uh, by conquering my immediate area. No, Lithuania. No, that's not how you're meant to play the game. Don't ally anyone but me and I can protect you. All right, now I've got to burn off the aggressive expansion again. <laughs> Reset all that hard work we did. Because uh, I do need to take out Provence and also... In fact, there was really no reason for me to conquer all of the, uh, all of the British Isles. <gasps> no! Yes! 536! Yeah, Lithuania, looking a bit lobotomized there, Chief. Beautiful thing, a coalition. Beautiful thing. But we're going to be burning this off for the next 10 years. <laughs> I have an army there for this exact reason. All right, let's get rid of these forts. They're useless. Really, I need a improved relations guy. To be fair, if I dump another 10,000 troops onto the field, they might just not want to have to deal with me anymore. Okay, I don't want to be that far behind, to be fair. I'll go Miltech 6. Dude, still likes me. So does France. Look, we're all, we're all getting on famously. Who, who remembers what that little spat, that 100 years war? What was all that about, you know? Who knows? Well, there's so many things getting rid of our unrest. All right, should we see on the status of uh, integration? Oh, we should also be patronizing the French subjects. Number two, got to do it five times, right? Ah, traces. With passing time, so too passing tolerance and ignominy. The French, despite their bitter defeat, have started to climate, uh, climate to their acclimate, sorry, to their new conditions. Conditions, as have the English. As such occurs, as such occurs, the fusion also occurs. Nice, here we go. Several linguistic anomalies already available. Several linguistic anomalies in Norman that will spread to the mainland. Love a bit of that renaissance, to be honest. Still hasn't hit London yet. It's gonna be a while, looks like. Uh, uh, let's switch you over to... Oh, it's been defensive this entire time uh, institution spread over here same thing institution spread all right what would i like probably aggressive expansion impact okay, we don't need to sack the uh, savoy Art alliance anymore okay that's that's annoying that's very annoying we now border the austrians five provinces at least five times okay so that's just straight up playing tool okay we then need to own parts of this stuff so basically conquer anjou conquer Brittany, and then improve this stuff five times so if i okay I can do that. Let me check. So if I were to improve this in car. No, it has to be five times in five provinces. Okay. So 25 times. That's a lot of power, but sure. They have to do the same for the French. Okay. Well, whilst we're waiting for Renaissance, let's do that now then. One, two, three, four, five. Well, the rebellions. Excellent. And yeah, so two have been done. I get merchants plus one. Nice. So, I mean, look, the advisor died and all these guys are going to rise up again. Oh, king died. Well, that's okay. All right, people are leaving the coalition. Look at that. Look at that. We survived, boys. And here I was thinking it was a terrible idea. I like this. It's forcing me to, like, slow down a little bit, which is which is good because, again, after I've taken, well, I've also taken Castile, but after you've taken this land, you need, like, moments of downtime. So it's good that the uh, mod has baked in 
downtime for you to focus on development and that sort of stuff. Okay, his capital has to be at least 30. Province has been at least developed at least five times. Uh, let's find you one, two, three, four, five. Oh, the French will return the favor and they give me a bunch of stuff in Oxford and, and Ireland and stuff. Okay, still plenty of people in the coalition. Let's try some French subjects. There we go. Friendship. Perhaps the Franks are not, but are <clears throat> a natural allies. Oh, I can't. I don't know if I can do this. Okay. Perhaps we should attempt a more diplomatic approach to the Frankish question. Disgusting. Okay, you want me to build a great... Yeah, we developed France. Let's go. Build a great palace. Fund the great palace. 2,500. Let's save up, boys. I want to do this early. Whilst we're burning off our uh, aggressive expansion. Everything in the Low Countries, which is going to be insane. So we need the Duchy of Burgundy to take for this to take place. London, Paris, or... 50-50. You know what? 50-50. 50-50. Who knows where it could have gone? The Great Palace has been built. We steal the French. What, is, what, are, what are its current benefits? It doesn't affect their... It only affects their liberty design, not their... I'm fine with that. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I've been scammed. <laughs> Was that meant to do something? I spent 2,500 ducats on that. How's the evolution going? Languages, loaning words from each other becomes visible in daily life. There you go. Instead of a pound sterling, Englishmen now purchase goods and we leave. No, we do not. They purchase things in pound sterling. What? You, what? Hang on a second. Oh, this might convince some of them to leave the coalition. Powerful bonuses. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to be risking that one, chief. I'm going to send some troops down. Where are your troops? Did you really not have any troops whatsoever? Right, where are you treating to? Finish them off. And thus, English troops return to the continent for the first time in decades. Right, well, I think it's time we get to work. Who are you allied to? Switzerland and the Papal State. Is it? Do I have to own it? England, though it's non tributary subject. Don't give it to the French. Nah, we'll take it ourselves. Should have stayed in that coalition. Should have stayed in that coalition. Wait, you got ship trade power? All right, let me take you off of this navy then. I don't know how you. In the middle of a battle, you were like, hmm, mercantilism. I understand how this game works now. How did you get there? Justice of the peace. Well, yeah, this is money. Absolutely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I may or may not have uh, messaged the, <laughs> the guy who made this mod. Uh, yeah, it turns out it's just a building. So it gives me monthly splendor plus four, national maximum is plus ten, and yearly legitimacy plus one, which is pretty good. Yeah, I don't, really, you you gave up the you gave up the siege with the bridge with the bridge walls. Very questionable. Yeah, I'm not gonna let Paris fall again. <laughs> wow, the pope's been destroyed. Right, it'll actually take the peace now, which is probably in my interest. I want people out of the coalition. I want one to fall. Okay, Brittany. Case for the Bretons. Bretons have different language, different customs from their neighbours in France. Nor are they similar to people in England. This, of course, poses significant problems that can become a thorn in our side. So we either let them be, or we switch into the French. I've already accepted French, so that makes my life easier. I think we'll be able to take everything in one war, and I do want to kind of avoid a coalition. But I, again, I've got to fight the Austrians after this, and I'd rather not have to deal with all that. I'm just going to stick to these areas first. If I don't take these two, how easy would it be for me to become the Holy Roman Emperor? Impossible. <laughs> okay. Cheers, Castile. Appreciate that. To be fair, though, we do have like 100,000 troops on our side. I mean, of the guys with the largest force limits, uh, there's me. France is less... Okay, no, I want force limit. France is 39,000. Castile, like, yeah, of the of, like the top 10. I want to have Anjou myself, just because Anjou Empire and all. So we'll do that. <laughs> Casually losing his stability. Always fun. Just having Castile is a nice little, nice little thing, you know? It just happens. He goes around, he does his job. It's great. Seems like the Petit Breton have not been content with our rulership. And without reasoning, they dared to rebel against us. This will not be tolerated. All right. So they wait until we're at war. You do not understand that no one betrays the English. Did you lose? Ah, oh, France. Jesus. Got a line. You lost. Dude. I'm at war, so you're not going to ally me. I'm offering to help you against the Austrians. You're like, well, you're at war. And I don't want to get involved in that. I'm a pacifist. And there we go. Now, this one I do have to focus a little bit for. Hey, you bring some troops home. Let's grab another 20,000 men on the continent. The junior partner of Bohemia. Why are you attacking? Oh, Bohemia came in. I thought it was Lithuania coming in. All right, let's get a bit rough and tumble, shall we? I'm going to march all the way over to Bohemia. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. I don't know how long my face cam was out for, but it was out. But it's back now. No way you win that. Austria can scrap. They've got a full morale more than me. How the hell have you done that? What are you? How have you done that? Okay, let's start taking this a bit more seriously then. All right, and that's the English conquest of Sligich done. Just a white piece to break up the coalition. Where are you going? All right, Lithuania, bud. I'm going to need you to uh, A, come in, but you're not coming in. Sweet. 
I'm going to need some access. All right, we're going to go ahead and become Deferred in the Faith. But a little bit extra morale. A little bit extra morale. So that's 15% bonus on our morale. And the Papal State has a three star general. Where are these people getting these generals from? Thank you for that, Castile. Keep pushing. All right, peace status, buddies. So now it's just him. But to be fair, they've been putting up a hell of a fight. I'm not sure how their troops are this powerful, to be honest. Like, he has higher morale than I'm pretty sure everyone else. Four enemies. Been getting my ass handed to me. Yeah, 4.65. Last jousting, Papal Blessing, Austrian Traditions, Power Projection, I mean, Army Tradition of 12. What's ours then, in comparison? So what are we lacking? Last jousting tournament, Papal Blessing, but we also have, like, an advisor, and he doesn't. It's terrifying. Austria has such huge amounts of morale. What's it? Why is his base morale better than mine? All right, and there's a Siege of Vienna. Okay, no. No, you don't. You can fight that if you want. You know what? We'll fight him in the grasslands, if possible. It's just insane. I'm not used to being this outmatched militarily. I'm very surprised. Gain 20,000 manpower, please. I'll do anything for it. There we go. That'll help things. Right, I don't ever have to want to fight this again, personally. So where's the Duchy Burgundy? I need that stuff as well. That, 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 that. Oh, why not? Well, actually, I don't need these middle parts. Oh, France can't make it a court. Well, give it to me then. Technically, I, I only need like that. How do you have this many troops, Austria? How many troops does Austria even have? He's got as many as I do. <laughs> and I finished quantity ideas. Oh. I hate this war. This is horrible. Has he brought more troops in? Where are they coming from? This is horrible. <laughs> all right, we finally won the Siege of Pest. All right, let's move all our troops west. Here's all the manpower of the uh, of the HRE as well. All right, let's try and get him off one of these sieges. Oh, brilliant. I've bumped into some of his troops, and they have almost stack wiped me. They killed 10,000 men just there, and they won a siege on the last day. Okay, this is, this is the kind of enemy I'm dealing with, ladies and gentlemen. I've almost run out of manpower. Right, I think I've finally broken him, but by God, has it taken some time. Nope, he's still around. He's still here. The man's a demon. Okay, I'm, I'm getting out of this. I can't do this anymore. Okay, we've taken those two provinces. That's all we need for now. Just need those two. Just need those two. He does a terrifying amount of damage. And 10 of those, like 10,000 of those are cavalry. How has he got a better economy than I do? I've, I've actually run out of manpower. This war has wiped out my all of my manpower. I had 100,000 in reserve. What idea are you going for? Please don't tell me it's a military one. No, good. Because otherwise I would not survive another a round of this. Right, that'll do it. That'll do it. Fully expecting there to be a coalition here, but I don't care. They won't declare, not with Austria, without Austria. But next time I fight the Austrians, and my king died, he just killed himself, I assume. Next time I fight the Austrians, rest assured I'm throwing everything and the kitchen sink at them. Look, they're immediately into another war. They're, they're at a great time. Just saw Austria enter into a golden era. I think it's probably best we do the same. Now I get this. Now. Bro, I... <laughs> I could have done with that a little while ago. All right, let's trigger our golden era. See if we can stop the uh, AI from declaring war on me. Central trade level in Calais is increased by one. But let's put it up to two first. That's right, the Austrians didn't go down the route of like, oh, we're gonna break them up into kingdoms. But no, they were just like, we're just gonna do everything at once. Come on, surely. The reform has to trigger now. This is the latest reformation I've ever seen. They, they, I will, uh, the, the amount of casualties that I took was disgusting. Melik is that 4-4. Four, four. All right, do we want to switch to Protestant? Because we probably should have done that. Uh, we might go Anglican. You know what? Let's um stick to Protestant for now. Let's see how it goes. Let's stick to Catholic for now. And we'll just uh, play it by ear. Knowledge sharing from the Casilians. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Next 10 years, diplomatic annexation costs minus 15%. I'll stack nicely with our next idea. He's close to doing the whole peace thing. <laughs> Jesus. Is it, look at his imperial authority. It's soaring. Called for a crusade against the Ottomans. Why? You at war with them? The Ottomans rivaling me was probably the dumbest move they could have done. Star chamber until the end of the game. We need a star chamber. Yeah, I think if I switched over, the religious cohesion would be ruined. So, right, let's get ourselves a military idea. Morale is probably the most important thing for us right now. It's a defensive, potentially. Yeah, we're going to go uh, with morale. All right, I can get a further diplomatic annexation cost here somewhere. Here we go. That's 10%. 12 years. And here it is. The age of reformation. So we can do religious cohesion and immediately take action of union so now we can found the anglo french realm the angevin empire gain new traditions look at that and we get a whole new mission tree because that's what this mod does boys a whole new mission tree that was only half of it we go languages start to borrow from more from each other this is what we like to see conquer catalonia so this is all heading out into uh to this stuff destroying the hre caribbean colonies so this is more colonial stuff over here this one is taking out genoa taxation with representation so we need to get some uh some some seats in parliament over there otherwise they're gonna get a bit pissy so lads that has been the angevin empire if you want to see more of the angevins i would happily play through um and and go through their mission tree and and conquer everything uh in about 12 years time we're gonna have the castilians under our yoke and after that it's only a matter of time before we take out the hre the aragonese and everything else i'll probably play the puzzle union game at the same time i'll be playing this from now on 
basically ridiculously expansionist. Uh, we have a significant uh, coalition, as you may be able to remember, but that's fine. That's neither here nor there. In any case, lads, please do let me know what you want to see in the comments down below. If you did enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. Uh, what else can I plug? For Twitter. Go follow me on Twitter. We've got a Patreon as well. Go. There's bonuses on there. It's pretty cool. You can get a mug with my face on it. If that's interesting, go check them out. Links will be in the uh, description down below, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.